Sydney, this is Kelly Tagline here, your city manager for Elance Odesk. I'm here with John O'Herman of Startnest. Hey, Kelly. How's it going? It's going very well. Very busy life, as yeah. per normal. Are you enjoying Sidstart? Uh, we are. We are. We're, we're basically uh, being run off our, our feet at our, our desk, and we're not even really selling a product. Oh. What floor are you on? We've got three floors of action today. Yeah, yeah. We're lucky. I think uh, we got an inside because we're sponsoring the after event drinks. They gave us a desk right outside the main ballroom. Nice, nice. So what are one of your favorite startups you've heard from today or met today? Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm going to be a bit uh, incestuous here. It is a, the ecosystem in Sydney is fairly incestuous once you get in there. Um, and I'll say Liam from Next for Sale. Uh -huh. He did win uh, one of our, our recent pitch series. Uh, he's flying off to Silicon Valley. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm watching him. Investors watch him as well. Well, we wish him luck. We do indeed. And is there anybody brand new that you've seen come onto the scene that you thought had a really interesting platform, product, or idea? Um, look, I think Village TV, the you people know. putting this together. I, I think, think it's, it's uh, I think Sean, a uh, shout out to Sean, um, is a very diverse character. He's gone co-working, he's gone digital news, um, now video service, watch, watch him as well. So thinking about co-working, we both kind of come from the co-working scene. We, we use co-working spaces. You run a co-working space. Where do you see co-working kind of fitting in as uh, the important player in the startup scene moving forward? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, opposite us uh, on our stand is, is the ACS, the Australian Computer Society. Uh, and I was telling the, the higher echelons of, of those guys, there's about 100 co-working spaces in, in Australia now, about mm. 40 in Sydney. Uh, if you assume, say, 20 companies in each, which is fairly low, and assume half of those are, are, are you know, solidly tech, uh, you, you try to, you're starting to get a fairly big base of IT-based companies that could be members to, you know, something as established as like the Australian Computer, uh, Computer Society. I really love that in a co-working space you can work with a very well-established company and a very fledgling company, large companies with kind of satellite members like myself working as the only employee in New South Wales, or you can work with, um, you know, individuals that are kind of sole traders, uh, taking on freelance projects, etc. Absolutely. Um, yeah, I think it is diverse. I think it's also nice that it's not just startups. We mm. talk about startups and we absolutely support the startup ecosystem, but um, there's, there's freelancers. There's also a question, what is a startup? I mean, yeah. some of the guys in our space, uh, they're sole practitioners, they're running a digital media agency, but they've been doing it as a sole practitioner for like seven years now. Right. Is that startup or is that just, that's their job? Yeah, I've heard this conversation come up a lot lately. I want to ask you kind of a fun question. Go for it. So startup is a big kind of buzzword, huge it buzzword. It's even a hashtag on Twitter that you can follow anytime. Especially if you want the retweets. Right. But what is your favorite kind of business or industry word? That you, uh, that you like? Yes, favorite type of industry word. Um, I, I like startup, I like entrepreneur. I guess uh, one I like is fempreneur. Oh, there I like that. So um, fempreneur obviously are, are female entrepreneurs because I, I think as in any sector, business sector, um, we probably have, uh, we, we need to have a, a consciousness about um, about supporting all parts of our society. I cannot agree with you more. I think that women are highly underrepresented in the tech industry, and yet research has shown that if a business has a woman founder on the on the founding team, yeah. their business does better. They're smarter with their money. This is, these are what the numbers suggest. So I'm really excited. Um, this morning I actually spoke at the League of Extraordinary Women breakfast. Ah, yeah, excellent. some women entrepreneurs doing some great things. And I was at the co-working association, well, the, the, meet, the meet up to try and form the co-working association. And uh, I will take this conversation here on Village TV and make sure that the if there is an executive of the co-working association that, that at least half of them will be women. Yeah, you know, I I would love to see at least half of them as yep. women. Uh, but that's really exciting, Jono. Well, look, it was really great bumping into you and having a chat. It's always nice to see you, Kelly. Continue to enjoy the, uh, the conference this weekend. Thanks. Week.